Alrighty folks, so I've been working on this fender here, trying to get this mess straightened out right here. And uh almost got it. Still a little bit high right in this area right in here. I'm gonna have to hammer and dolly that out just a little bit more. But I got all this straightened out fairly decent. Got this area down here straightened out fairly decent. And uh just a little bit right in there, and I think we'll have it. I am gonna have to go in here. I'm gonna have to cut, you know, a couple places out, but kind of debating on you know if i want to go through and cut all these pits out but i don't know i really don't want to do all that it's, i don't know i'm trying not to put a lot of heat in this fender welding wise because i don't want to warp it so and otherwise you know it's going to like the ocean have a bunch of waves in it and i don't want that either so and i still obviously i got to fix it down there yet but i'm just trying to kind of work on this thing a little bit just been piddling around with it and uh yeah it's, it's definitely it's getting there so slowly but surely but i did go in here and uh you know rough the body work in just a little bit and again keep in mind i roughed it in so so i've been working on the back of this fender here in this area right in here where it was welded there but uh it's you know it ain't perfect but it's it's getting there so we gotta do a little bit more work to it we gotta straighten this bottom up too get that a little more straightened out but it's not terrible so and i still got a little high spot there in the front you can kind of see but it's definitely definitely getting there so but i'm happy with it so far so and sunlight shining on top of the fender there it's over the tree but, but it's getting there it's getting there so i'm i'm happy with it so far um, I'll be glad when we get it done there. Well, that angle ain't no better either, is it? Well, that's eh, a little better. But, but yeah, just trying to work on this fender here, get a little more straightened out. I like how this fender looks. It always looks pretty cool. It looks cool when you look at it from this angle. Look how that just narrow and then wide at the front there it's kind of cool like it but i'm just trying to straighten out i gotta get back on this headlight area right here i gotta fix that mess right there i still got some mess i gotta deal with and cut out but we're getting there but i want to get to the point where this fender's straightened out enough to where we can actually take and uh we can start taking this front clip apart. Well, I got to fix the other side too, so we can't. We got to get the whole front clip, the, the uh, headlight eyebrows, and all that. I got to have everything, you know, mocked up together. How everything's going to, you know, the hood and everything, how it's going to sit on the front clip, because that's what sets, you know, the gaps down here. Because this might have actually been a factory thing. I don't know, but uh, you know, I, I don't want this too far in, and the gap's going to look awful. But and I'm trying to line this up as good as I can get it. And so I'm probably going to have to put a filler piece in here of uh, sheet metal right there. And i got to cut all that mess out. I keep saying now i got to get on the stick and do this stuff. we got to get this straightened out. I'm going to hammer and dolly this back out too because that looks like crap. But this turned out beautiful. I'm proud of that. That turned out really good. I made this pretty good too. i got to recreate it. It's got a little kind of a... I don't know what you call that kind of a hump, but uh, or the fender well curve maybe I don't know. So I had to put that back in there somehow, but that's not a big deal. I can bend this piece of sheet metal. It's welded right here. Obviously, from here back is the original fender. From here down, I made, but so this turned out really nice. I'm happy with that. And all this, this edge right through here, is still the original. I just replaced the insert right there. So. I didn't want to lose the actual uh, original uh, edge right there, so I left it, and it wasn't rotted anyway. This one, I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. Kind of doubt it, but but it's getting there. I just want to make a little update, so I haven't made a video on it here fairly recently, so it's been a little while. It's been a little bit, but uh, but still working on the fender here. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do about the. Uh, Got some pits where the trim used to be on the side, so I might, I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the heat out of the fender there. I don't want to warp it and, and risk messing it up. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of shocked this fender. You know, once we 
get this headlight area get that straightened out this fender's fairly straight you know that's kind of amazing so and the only really filler it's got is got some right there on the headlight eyebrow and it's got some back in there but it's i promise you it is very light and i'm not joking around with that it's a very 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 light layer because off camera i had it go and hammer and dolly it out just a little bit to where uh i didn't have it quite it was butt welded together obviously but there's a couple areas that were still a little high we still got one area right there and it's a little bit high but other than that i mean it's turned out fairly decent so yeah, it's got one area right there looks like a run but it's not it's actually a high spot but it's kind of amazing though but and it ain't done i still you know i had the block saying it and all that but it's still wet that's why it looks so glossy come on there we go focus Sorry, y'all. But yeah, it looks like a run, but it's not. But and I got two low spots up there. I know. It doesn't like the gloss. I don't know why. We got two little low spots. Yeah, and I can see it right there. And then the other one is up there. But yeah, sorry, y'all. But yeah, it's getting there. I mean, just for one you know coat there or fill it there just roughing it in i think it's it's going to turn out really nice i mean it fixed it so i, I like it i think it's going to turn out pretty good yeah we'll tap that down that spot right here i'll tap that down just a little bit and i think we'll have it and i'll decide what i'm going to do about this so this looks worse on camera than it is in person but it's it's high right in here so it's a little bulged out but but if you look at it from this angle you can kind of see a little better now but it looks worse on camera but it's not you can kind of see it now anyway you can see where this is high a little bit high right here well underneath my finger there so just a little bit but well, we could straighten that out I'm just i need a body hammer set kind of bad but the rest of it looks really good so but we'll go through and we'll fix these pits and i have to put a piece definitely want to put a patch there and down there obviously and you know on the front but considering what this fender has been through i think it turned out fairly decent so far so and again, I'm not done. I ain't done. You know, it ain't nowhere near done. But it's a work in progress, so we'll get her. We'll get her there. But I'm, I'm kind of happy with it so far, so it's turning out fairly good. Just need a little bit more work. There we go. It looks better. But once we get everything set to where I want it, as far as the headlight area and all that goes. Then we can actually take and uh, finish out that fender. We'll finish this one first. And then we'll finish out that fender. You know, get all the body work. And like I said, I'm no body man. I'm just trying to save these fenders. Because they're just extremely rare and very hard to find. I got this with all I got to work with. You know, I can't just, like a lot of people say, just go and get better fenders. Yeah. Okay, okay. Where? Where? Is it over there? Is it over there? Huh? Where Where are they at? Where are they at? You know? People think you can just... Boom! You can find another uh, 57 Plymouth Fender out of nowhere. You know, it, this stuff is extremely rare. And it's just the way it is. But, uh, so this is what I got to work with. You know, what you got to work with is what you got to work with. The same way my, on my Etzel. But, uh, works out good. In one way, but another way, it kind of sucks. But, here's what it is. So, I just want to show this, and, uh, I think the fender looks fairly decent there, but, but, uh, yeah, it still looks like it has a crease on the front, but it doesn't. It's just got one high spot. Yeah, you can kind of see it there, but. Alrighty, I'm just kind of blabbing on here, but, 
Like I said, considering what this fender and this whole front clip has been through, it's been around the ringer, so I think it's turned out pretty good. But we'll finish this one out, and then once we get the other thing, get the other fender uh, set out, set up the way I want it, then we'll take in, uh, we'll do the hood and uh, get it all straightened out, probably weld it on both sides, and then I'm hoping and praying. I might have to put a brace under it. I don't know. We'll see. And because uh, I really don't want to close the hood when you put the stuff on the car and the hood fold in half, because it's you know, I don't know, I don't know. As long as the weld's strong enough, it should be okay. But it's a lot of pressure on that hood, so I'm kind of contemplating making a brace and putting it underneath that weld right there, so it doesn't fold in half. Because that hood, you know, I can't afford for something to happen to it. It's just, it's too hard to find another hood. So even though that hood would be really easy to make really from scratch thought about making a template off of it you can almost make that whole hood the only hard area would be right here at the nose but it's fairly flat until you get well about half the hood is but alrighty so yeah, it turned out fairly good got a couple low spots to fix a couple high spots but we're getting there so let's get in there see y'all later bye